Horses and ponies have played a huge part in the Queen's life. And to those who share her passion, she's always been recognised as a hands-on, knowledgeable and extremely well-respected breeder. And there's a special place in her heart for our native British breeds. From hardy Shetland ponies to the mighty Suffolk punch. Animals from the length and breadth of her kingdom have found their way into the Queen's stables over the years. None owes her more than the magnificent Cleveland Bay, a breed whose long history would have come to an end in the 1960s had it not been for the Queen's personal intervention. These reliable horses were always found work to do, from coach horses to war horses. But over the years, their popularity dwindled. And after the First World War, where they were used to pull artillery, the breed became severely depleted. By the 1960s, there were just four Cleveland Bay Stallions left in Britain. Their future hung in the balance. But in their darkest hour, it was the queen who would become their champion. Hearing of their plight, she bought a stallion called Mulgrave Supreme, which belonged to Gerard's grandfather. Your grandfather's horse was bought by the Queen? He was, yes. My grandfather, he had a stallion that he, he produced, which won at the Royal Show. The Queen took interest in him and decided that, you know, she would purchase him if possible to breed some more carriage horses and keep the blood going and save the breed as well. Mulgrave Supreme was put out to stud, but such was the Queen's reputation that simply by favouring Cleveland Bays, others were prompted to follow suit, leading to a big surge in numbers. 